This is a beginner Blender Python tutorial where we'll be taking a look at Python lists. We'll go over some examples of how you can use these lists in your Blender Python scripts. Hey, I'm Viktor Stepanov. I'll be guiding you through this tutorial. Today we'll be focusing on Python lists. We'll be taking a look at what Python lists are, how to use them, and some examples. So what are Python lists? We've been using lists every single day for to-do lists, grocery lists, checklists, even lists on slides like this. Python also needs a way to organize data and information into lists while it's executing your script. For example, in Blender, you can represent the different modes we can select as a list, or the add-ons in the add-on list, or even the materials assigned to a given uh, object as a Python list. So how do we use Python lists? We need to be comfortable with three main things. First is how to create a list. Next is adding things to a list, and then accessing these items after we've added them to a list. To create a list, you can just create a new variable and assign the result of the list function, and that would create a list for you. A shorter way to do that is just to use square brackets like so. Let's start working on this in the Interactive Python console in Blender. All right, I'm in Blender and I opened the scripting workspace. And now I'm going to enter the code that you saw on the slide into the Interactive Python console right here. As you can see, this created a list and now the variable myList is referencing the list we've created. I encourage you to follow along in the Interactive Python console. When creating a list, you can also start adding data into that list right away when you use the square bracket notation as you see on the screen. You can add any object into a list, whether it's some text, decimal point numbers, objects in a Blender scene, materials, and colors. You can also have lists of lists. For example, we're defining a number of colors with RGBA values, like so. To add items to an existing list, we would use the append method, like you see on your screen. So you can have already data in a list and then add more information and data to that list. Let's try this in Blender. And I'm pressing the up arrow to repeat the code that I've typed. And now if we just print out our list, you can see that there are three items in that list. And finally, to access data or items in a list, we would need to use the square brackets and the index of the data we want to access. And note that the index starts with zero. So if you want to get the first item in that list, you need to use zero as the index. Then use one for the second and two for the third. Note, if you try to access a element that's not in the list, so if I try to access uh, the fourth item by using three right here, it'll give us an error. Okay, now let's try to access the data that we have in our list. So the very first item in our list, we're going to use the index zero. And then the second item, we're going to use the index one and the third item index two. And watch if I try to access past the items that we have in our list. We'll get an error telling us that the index that we use is out of range. And you can loop through items in a list. For example, this for loop is going to loop over this list right here. And this item is going to first get the first item, then the second item, and then the third item. And as soon as that gets assigned, we're going to execute this print and print out the items one by one. Let's try this in, in the interactive Python console. And you can see that we've printed out each item in our list. And if you're learning something new or just enjoying this video, make sure to give this video a like. I'll greatly appreciate it. Okay, now it's time to check out some examples. For the first example, we're going to be creating a list of XYZ coordinates. And we're going to be using those coordinates to place icospheres into the scene. So you'll find this code in the description under example 1a. 
we're going to be importing some modules that we need vpy and random we'll be creating our coordinates list that we're going to be filling out uh, right here so we uh, will loop over uh, this code right here 10 times and then we'll create a random number between minus 5 and 5 for x y and z and then we'll just append a uh, list so we're adding a list into a list uh, into this coordinates right here next we'll uh, loop over the length of this list so we're getting the length and we're creating a uh, range so it's similar to what this does here but we're just using the length of our list and then we're creating an i variable that we're going to be using as our index into our coordinates list we're using i right here to get the item in that list and then we're extracting x y and z out of the list right and then we're just at placing an icosphere with a radius of one and we're just using the locations x y and z that we got from our coordinates list all right, I'm going to clear the scene by hitting AX and then delete. And let's run the script. All right, you can see that we have these random locations of the icospheres in our scene. Again, you can argue that, hey, why do we create a list right here? We could probably just use uh, this call right here and not create a list. Yeah, you're right, but for the sake of this example, maybe we're doing some extra work in between. Uh, this and this loop like we're filtering or doing something else to this list right so uh, this is our first example a slightly modified version of the first example you'll find under example 1b and instead of using the length of our list I'm just iterating like so through each item in the list so you can see we're not accessing the length anymore we're just accessing each item like so and let's check if this runs and you can see it added more spheres into the scene okay for example number two we'll need some helper code to start and set up the scene for us so i can show you the example uh, i'm going to clear the scene by hitting ax and then delete and this code just adds 10 icospheres 10 cubes and 10 cones into the scene at random locations i'm just going to run that as you can see we have uh, the objects placed in the, into the scene at random locations now for our example we're going to select all the cubes in the scene and replace them with uh, monkey heads we're going to create our list right here like so and then we're going to loop over all the objects in our current scene see that if the name has cube in the name then we're going to add that object into our cube uh, object list then we're going to use uh, this for loop right here and iterate over each one of those uh, cubes and we're going to get the location we're going to add a monkey into that same location and then we're going to just remove the cube from the scene let's check how that works and you can see that all the cubes were replaced by a monkey head and you'll find this code in the description under example two. All right, and for your third example, we're gonna be creating a list of colors, so RGBA colors, and we're creating a plane, we're creating a new material, and then choosing one of these randomly, like one of these colors through the random choice function, we're passing in our list right here, and we're assigning the material we created to the plane object. So let's clear the scene by hitting AX and then delete. And let's run the script. And it added this object into the scene with a random color. Make sure if you don't see this color, you hit material preview. So you hit Z on your keyboard and then material preview. And you'll see the color if you don't see it. Next, let's run the script again. I'm just going to delete this object and run it again. And you can see we're selecting different colors each time we run the script. All right, to summarize what we learned today, we got some good analogies of what Python lists are. We learned how to create a list, how to add items to a list, and access those items.
If you haven't done so already, I really recommend you going through and typing those examples out in the interactive Python console and getting that code and executing it for yourself. All the links will be in the description. So for more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.